Welcome to this online trading CCTV installation like a pro. I will be taking you through the step by step installation of CCTV and what you need to know about installing CCTV professionally. I'm not talking about just installation, I'm talking about installing CCTV professionally. This training will take you through the step by step what you need to know. We'll be looking at various types of CCTV system, the various types of CCTV cameras, the cameras needed for your CCTV installation. We're talking about the network CCTV installation. We're talking about IP and NVR installation, which involve network and networking. In this regard, you will learn all these step by step. This is a practical class. At the end of this training, you will now be a professional CCTV installer. Let's get started. My name is Banero TV, and people call me TV. And I shall be taking you through the steps of CCTV installation. First of all, before going through the practical training in full, we need to know the basic knowledge of CCTV. By knowing the basic knowledge of CCTV, you will be able to have professional CCTV for any purpose. You'll be able to install CCTV practically. Let's get started. First thing you need to consider when talking about CCTV installation is what do you need for your CCTV installation? What do you need? Before you start any CCTV project, you should know what you need to get the job done. Not only will it make the process go smoothly, but it will also save you from going to markets looking for or searching for one or two things. Here's what you need to consider when you want to deliver CCTV to projects, either for home or for business or for any CCTV installation. There are six essential things to know. And the first one is the site plan. You need to have plans for your CCTV installation. We shall go into details about this. The next is you need to choose your camera, suitable cameras. The next is suitable cables, your CCTV recorder, your CCTV storage. Where do you want to store it? Your footages, where do you want to store them? Then CCTV monitor, where to monitor live camera. These are the six essential things you need to consider. These are the things you need. The first thing we'll be looking at is how do you know the devices you put together without plan? Creating a detailed CCTV installation plan is the first step to getting your CCTV cameras up and running. Think about your security goals, the locations you want to cover, and the equipment you will need to get the job done. Your plan will become your grocery list when shopping for equipment. It will tell you the number of cameras, the amount of wires, which recording equipment and software, the data storage that is needed, and which view devices will you need. If you make your plan correctly, you should only need to get your devices and the things needed once and for all for the installation of your CCTV. This is a typical CCTV site plan layout. As you can see, the layout is showing you the number of cameras, the positions at which you want to put the cameras, as you can see them on the screen, the positions, the point, the cable requirements, the camera positions, all these are represented in your layout. All these are represented in your plan. And if you have site plan documented and signed, that will give you insight to exactly where to have your CCTV installed. And sometimes it saves you a lot of headache. Imagine you don't have a plan and you got a big project to install CCTV in, in a big facility and after installation then your client is saying oh I don't want this camera in this position I want it in this position but having your plan documented we show the client that this is what we plan and this is what we agree this is the document first have your CCTV plan and documented then some softwares you can use to have your CCTV plan, you draw it professionally like the one you're seeing on the screen. But if you cannot get any of them, you can have a pen draft. You can draft it on a sheet of paper. Just have 
a plan. Having this will give you a good straight head to what you want to install and where you want to install the cables and number of cameras. The next thing we'll be talking about is cameras. We're talking about suitable cameras for your CCTV. How do you know the type of cameras you need to use? What is a CCTV system without cameras? Cameras are the eyes and sometimes ears of your entire security system. Without them, you won't be monitoring much of anything. You can't even see anything. The first step to CCTV installation is to choose which cameras are right for you. Do you need the high tech camera with pan tilt zoom, which is called PTZ features? Or will a simple desktop IP camera fulfill your needs? Or maybe just a standalone network camera? Think about your plan and your security goals. Choose a camera or cameras with the specifications and mounting requirements you need. Once you've chosen the perfect camera, you need to decide how many will you need and their mounting position. You consult your plan to get the right number of cameras to cover your properties. And let's look at different types of cameras we have. We have dome, we have network camera, hidden camera, outdoors camera, night day camera, bullet camera, box camera. We have a lot of cameras out there. What you need to know is which one is right for me. The two types of camera you could have is either a wired camera or wireless camera. We have wired camera in network wired camera or analog connected wired camera network connected wired camera and this is the wired camera and we have wireless camera which run on wireless network these are very essential then we have stand alone and hidden cctv cameras we have surge solo cctv camera pan and ttv camera we have batteries operated cctv camera we have camera like smoke detector which are always eating we have fish eye cctv camera we have silly the one you can mount inside silly we have many many of these camera then we have surveillance camera in dome and in bullet these are mainly used in big organizations or on our highways maybe you want to monitor highways or on the street you want to monitor your street these are the kind of cameras you need to have the next thing we need to be looking at is our cables our wires to connect the cctv cctv cameras need two wires to function a power supply and a signal supply the one that will supply power and the one that will supply video signal cameras are electronics therefore they need power to avoid dead batteries which can be a security concern most cctv cameras are hard wired into the building's power that means you need to have enough wire to reach an interior outlet cameras also need to be connected to your network to send video feed that is if you are using ip camera ip cameras need a wire to reach to the nearest network connection typically using an ethernet cable other cameras need to be wired directly into the recording equipment which we regard as analog connection you map up your wiring route ahead of time to ensure you have enough wire to power up every camera and connect them to the system network if you look up here you see the ready-made analog cable which have the red and the yellow the red is for power why the yellow is for video signal connection we have ready-made network cable if you are connecting your CCTV to network cable this is the ready-made network cable you will use which is called RJ45 network prepare cable 
we have quasar cable which is not prepared yet maybe you want to make your cable by yourself this quasar cable is what you need together with bnc connector which will give you signal to your video and the next thing we need to look at is our recording equipment recording equipment your cameras need to send video somewhere Recording equipment can take two forms. You can have an on-site network video recorder like a DVR or an off-site video recorder that uses the internet to send your data to an external storage facility like your NVR, network video recorder. Typically accessed through the cloud, through the network. On-site recording equipment requires additional hardware and software. Cloud-based solution only requires software downloaded to the device of your choice. No matter which option you choose, you will need to set up before CCTV installation can complete. Let's look at the DVR system and NVR. The DVR is data video recorder, while the NVR is network video recorder. And the DVR is normally analog in nature. Then the NVR is normally network in nature analog in the sense that it's connected via bnc and quasar cable to connect to your cameras why the nvr is true network that you use network cable we have two types of nvr the nvr that is connected directly to the recorder and we have another nvr that you don't need to connect directly to it to record you can connect to any network switch in as much as they are all on the same network then the next thing we need to look at is our data storage as your smartphone can attest videos take up a lot of storage space and since CCTV cameras are always recording every minute every second they need software to store all their footage the three most common data storage locations are in the cloud if you are using network to connect your CCTV, then we have on your site network video recorder. This one to write on network. Then we have on SD card or your HDD, which is hard drive. Whichever method you choose, make sure you have enough storage space to maintain at least a couple weeks of data. Around 60 GB of storage space per Camera is usually enough to maintain about two weeks of standard definition footage. High resolution camera will require more storage space. So if you're saying 60 gigabytes space per camera, so if you have four cameras, then multiply 60 by four to get you your footage recording time of about two weeks. That is how you get your footage. As you can see, this is internal hard drive that is present inside the DVR and some NVR. Then we have external network storage device which is connected to network either on site or off site. It could be anywhere in as much as it's on the same network. Then if it's not on the same network, you create a cloud path from your NVR down to your storage device which could be anywhere in the world. The next thing we are looking at here is CCTV view devices. Whether it's a computer monitor, TV, tablet, or smartphone, you need the device to view your footage. What is good about all the videos that you can watch it, that you can see, that you can preview. Do some research and see which devices are compatible with your specific system before CCTV installation. If you install a system that doesn't work with the monitor you just bought, you need to go shopping again and get another screen. Some systems can work with multiple monitors. So create the setup that is ideal for your name. For example, there are some systems that have HDMI, they have VGA, they have RCA, they have display ports, they have different types of port to connect your output but as some monitor you only see VGA so you need to know your output source and connection before you buy 
your monitoring device. There's some recording devices that have just two connections. So you need to look at these connections and use the same to get your view devices. The next thing we'll be looking at is choosing your camera. How do you choose your camera? With the number of options available, it's easy to get overwhelmed shopping for CCTV cameras. How do you know if you know the specific option or if it's just a waste of money? Here are some aspects to consider to help you choose the best CCTV monitoring cameras for your home or for your business. If you look at the screen, you will see this type of camera. We have bullet camera, we have dome, we have hidden covered, we have infrared, we have box camera, we have outdoors camera, we have pan and tilt zoom camera, which is PTZ, we have wireless camera, like bullet and dome. Many people use bullet for outside, they call it outdoors camera. Why they use dome for indoor, they call it indoor camera. But they do the same. In the camera, maybe you want to monitor something without people getting to know. So if your client say, oh, I need CCTV camera, but I don't want people to know, I want it hidden. So you look at different types of hidden cameras we have out there that can serve the purpose. We have infrared camera. This infrared camera use infrared signal to detect motion and record. We have box, we have outdoors. The outdoors here is mainly used for street highways because they are more resistant to weather, bad weather, doors, sun, rain, anything. They are very strong and they are very expensive. We have PTZ, pant and tilt, zoom. This can rotate, can zoom in, zoom out, rotate to any angle. That is what this PTZ camera is made for. We have wireless, according to the name wireless, this requires no cable connection. Then, what do you want CCTV camera to monitor? This is another question you need to ask yourself. What do you want the CCTV cameras to monitor? The first thing you need to consider is what the cameras will be used for. Just because it's the most expensive official field camera in the market doesn't mean it's going to be the best for your needs. Your answer to the question will influence the rest of the decision-making process. If you are looking to monitor a tiny storeroom in the back of your office, buying an expensive high-end terminal camera doesn't make any sense. Choose a camera that fits the intended application. If you look on the screen here, you will see a CCTV camera. Is it for office? Are you using it for office? Are you using it to monitor your home? Are you using it to monitor your street? Are you using it to monitor the highway or stores? So these are the things you need to consider. What do you want the CCTV camera to monitor? If you have answer to all this, then you'll be able to get your correct installation the next is understanding camera capabilities you need to understand your camera capabilities before you dive into the shopping before you start buying any camera it's important to understand the basic of camera capabilities you need to check the features that way you will know what you're looking for instead of aimlessly wandering through countless web pages and brochures hoping something pumps out at you there are two important numbers to look for when shopping for cctv or when buying cctv cameras the first is focal length how far the camera can see in general the size of the camera's length in millimeters is equal to the focal length in meters for example a camera with a 4 mm lens will be able to identify a target up to four meters away from the camera so your focal length is very important when you see when you see a camera you see 6 mm 6 mm means it can only see to the long distance of 6 meters after the 6 meters you will not see clearly what is coming again you will not see very well you can see image you can see shadow but you will not see the real image that is so 
if you say you are buying cameras, they tell you, oh, a camera is 10,000 Naira and another camera is 18,000 of the same. You'll be looking at, uh -uh, is it not the same 2 MP, megapixel? Or is it not the same 5 MP, megapixel? But what about the focal length? How long can it see? That is your focal length. The next thing you need to know is the field of view. The angle of a camera's peripherals. A camera with a 60 degree angle lens will be able to see within 60 degrees of center on both sides. A wider angle lens will be able to see more, but in less detail. The field view is telling you about what you can see at once. Both left and right, front and back on a circular form. What can you see? What could be in the view of such camera that is your field of view these two things are very very important and the next thing you need to consider is the lighting since the cameras are just like any other cameras they need light to work so it's very important to think about the lighting in the area you wish to monitor cameras monitoring areas with poor lighting conditions especially at night need low light resolution that is the one that can see at night supporting lighting we have supporting lighting which allies to monitored area this can save you money on fancy night vision camera but we also increase your energy bill maybe you put some lights to the to the view area then the next thing is low lighting image. Cameras are equipped with low light image are designed to perform in dim conditions. They won't work as well as infrared or terminal camera in complete darkness but are considerably cheaper. We have infrared which is IR, the most popular low light choice. IR camera use infrared light to create a clear picture even in the dark area. Infrared light is invisible to the naked eye so you won't annoy your neighbors with blinding spotlight this infrared camera is mostly used in our homes and offices personally then we are seeing tanner it uses it instead of light to create a picture tanner cameras are the best at detecting movement at long distance even in total darkness without any light but that power comes at a cost Terminal videos are not very detailed. You will be able to tell if someone is present, but not who they are. You will know the present, you will see image. This is um, all, always seen in tiny machine. They use Tama camera to see the image present anywhere the camera is focused. Camera with supporting light, you see some cameras now are coming with supporting lights attached to them you can do your own you can buy the one with supporting light and camera with low light imaging with can capture in the dark light as you can see the one the cctv camera without low lighting and the one with low lighting then the infrared and the terminal the next thing we want to look at here is analog and ip cameras the analog the ip cameras cctv camera can be split into two groups which is analog and IP. There are pros and cons to each. So it's important to choose the one with the benefit that corresponds to your home or business unique needs. Analog cameras are wired into your buildings, powered and are connected to on-site recording equipment like a DVR, a digital video recorder. Analog cameras are generally cheaper than IP cameras but lack modern features. But the IP cameras Operate and store data using the internet. They typically have much higher resolution and are much flexible than analog cameras, but at a higher rate per camera expenses. IP cameras are quickly becoming the most popular CCTV option due to their scalability and ease of use. You can add more cameras, you can put it anywhere in as much as you have network or Oh, you have network coverage either wired or wireless as you can see it on the screen you see the ip camera and you have the analog camera how will you differentiate the two the ip camera we have if it's wired ip camera it will have a port of rj45 connection and we have a power cable 
the port of RJ45 connection than some that will come with only RJ45 connections. Don't be confused, they are the same thing. But the one that comes with only RJ45 connection is called PoE power over internet that is you don't need external power there are some that need external power together with network cable usually through the rg45 but there are some that does not need external power is being powered by the rg45 cable connected so don't be confused then the analog one is the one that you see it has the nbc mouth that is the one you connect with bnc connector and the quasar cable to send signal and also it will have external power let's look at analog and cctv as you can see on the screen uh, you see how they are connected together you see the power box this is analog you see the power box then the cameras you can connect any type of camera in as much as it has the analog connector which is bnc connector you can connect it to dvr then you see the IP surveillance, which is IP CCTV camera, it can go straight to your recording device or it can go through network, which will be recorded on network space. So, these are the things you need to know about analog and IP camera. Now, think about the future. It's not always wise to choose the most cost effective option. Down the road, it might end up costing more money. As your needs change, you might need to upgrade or add to your security solution, which could mean replacing your cheaper solution entirely. Think about what you might need in the future and select a CCTV system that can scale and upgrade with you. Although it might not be the cheapest option right now, you will save money in the long run when you're thinking about, oh, what if i need to upgrade so if i buy all these cheap cheap cameras and cheap dvrs now i want to upgrade maybe i bought dvr with eight channels now i need more channels maybe up to 12 up to 18 so how do i do it i will need to pack the eight channel dvr off and buy new one but if you buy the one that is having up to 24 channels that is you are thinking about expanding the cameras maybe presently you are using it but you have up to 16 channels so you still have you could still expand to up to eight more points so these are the things you need to think of so that when you want to expand in the future you don't need to buy another system entirely the dvr in view if you look at the dvr you see the dvr from view the dvr is digital video recorder it has your input your audio input video input hdmi vga usb port ptz port that depends on the type of dvr you are buying you check at the back then we have dvr connections this is the typical connection of dvr to all the ports we've listed if you look at this diagram very well you can see you have your cameras any type of camera in as much as it has connections to the kind of dvr you have if it's analog then you get analog camera and you see how it's being connected in the diagrams this is your diagram of dvr let's look at nvr now look at nvr nvr is network video recorder you can see it's just almost the same thing like dvr but the difference is dvr uses analog connection while nvr uses poe or ethernet connection this is a typical dvr that is to be connected to internet to be wired through internet and you have the same feature the output the input and your port four ports we have four ports from four ports we have six ports from six ports eight port from eight port we have 12 port from 12 port we have 16 port from 16 port we have 24 ports i mean in the future we have more ports that is the nvr 
but if you want to have limitless connection then you use nvr that is not connected directly to the recording device that is connected through the network that is another type of nvr look at the connection of the nvr it's just the same thing as the connection of the dvr as you can see they have the same connection pattern but different cable different device look at the connections this is the one over the internet which you don't need to connect directly to your recorder you connect to the network nvr recorder is connected to the network all will be connected to the network then you have countless number of cameras you want very and highly scalable this are just things you need to consider this is the basic of your cctv installation if you want to install cctv like a pro you need to consider all these stuffs being said in the video and guess what if you want to practically learn all this thing physical training one-on-one -on -one with me i will employ you to contact me for more information about the training class our training class is at first stack second rainbow bus stop first stack before the first stack link bridge that is where we have our conducive learning training center so tech africa where we have trainings on cctv camera on networking so guys if you want to learn this training in full practically and become a pro in cctv installation not just people that know how to connect cables together no people that know what they are doing when it comes to cctv installation like i met someone i wanted to get a camera from him i saw the camera he gave it to me i said i needed network cable camera ip camera with network cable and i brought out analog i said no bro this is analog camera he said no 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 this is ip camera uh the the cctv training i attended they they told us this is ip camera i laugh then i just use few minutes of my time to lecture him the difference between ip camera and analog camera it's not just to know how to connect but how can you tell your client that you are a professional cctv installer nobody will just want to give you the job to do just because you know how to connect but no because you know the job professionally you can advise and anything you do for your client they will be happy or maybe for yourself maybe you want to connect it for yourself so guys call the number on the screen 08065 reach me on whatsapp or give me a call and we have classes scheduled already and we have students running and attending the class if you want to practically learn these things i've explained please don't fail to call this number we are in lagos first stack that is our training room once again my name is timmy thank you and see you again on this channel